Today, others not so much. Eugene is kind of at the very end of the Willamette Valley, so that fog is still hanging on for dear life. You can actually see a little bit of the sun breakage as you look toward the north. You can actually see Autzen Stadium off in the distance, and as you kind of travel north, you can see that sunshine. In fact, Portland was able to get up to around 55 degrees today, not us. 45 officially at the Eugene Airport, and that was due to this cloud cover that kind of got sopped in. Down towards Roseburg, check this out a gorgeous afternoon again. Able to see sunshine. Temperatures got up into the 50s. In fact, Roseburg got up to around 54 earlier today, and we are starting to see some of those clear skies move in for areas of Corvallis out towards Lebanon. Sweet home again. Uh, usually the southern Willamette Valley is kind of the last leg of the fog layer, and we were expecting that to clear out a little bit sooner, but we should see a few sun breaks before that sunset at around 4:55 p.m. Yes, those sunsets are getting earlier, but we still are tracking the fog across the region. You can see it's mainly just focused toward Corvallis and Eugene and you even saw in the sky cam starting to thin out for Corvallis, but as soon as it clears out, it's going to come right back in. That's why this dense fog advisory is in effect overnight tonight and as we wake up tomorrow morning and that's going to be the case throughout much of the day tomorrow, but eventually we have some changes underway. We have this very strong cold front offshore and that's going to push the fog out, but it's also going to bring us a round of heavy rain overnight tonight and you can see just how impressive this storm system is. Main area of low pressure is located in the Gulf of Alaska. Extending cold front is going to reach us as early as tomorrow afternoon, but unlike this past weekend, this cold front is a quick hitting one. As soon as it comes comes in, it's going to be out of here as we head towards Friday, but nevertheless, it's still going to be a rainy afternoon tomorrow with snow up into the Cascades. The high temperature is right around lunchtime up at Sandy and Pass. We are expecting a quick shot of heavy snow tomorrow night, and that will add up to about two to maybe six inches up across the passes. 52 for Eugene. You can see the cloud cover overnight tonight, and as we wake up tomorrow morning, dry for the most part. Notice until around 2 p.m. Rain arrives toward the Oregon coast first, starts to spread inland as we head toward the evening commute. You can see right along I-5 and it's a quick hitting cold front. As you can see, it's up into the Cascades as we head towards around 8 30, 9 o'clock. And as we head towards Friday, it's going to be cloudy, but it's going to be dry. Rainfall amounts as we head toward the next 24 hours are going to be relatively nice, anywhere from a quarter to a third of an inch of rain. So this is decent, but due to the nature of this fast moving cold front, we're not expecting any heavy rainfall across the region. It's mainly focused toward Thursday. You can see next Friday, is set to arrive on Saturday, but this is going to be a very weak cold front. A few showers in the morning as we head toward the afternoon, especially for the Ducks game. It looks like it's going to remain dry, but as we head toward next week, we are tracking a stronger storm system as we approach the kind of Tuesday, Wednesday time frame of next week. Your seven day forecast for the coast again, starting out dry as we head towards around four or five o'clock in the afternoon. That's when the rain is going to pick up for the Oregon coast areas of Roseburg. Dense morning fog. Once we head toward the afternoon, though, we are expecting those showers to pick up, but as soon as they move in, they're going to be out of here. And even Roseburg will start to see a little bit of sunshine as we head toward Friday. For the Cascade Passes, quick shot of heavy snow tomorrow night into Friday morning. So if you're driving across those passes, please be mindful of that. Then we're expecting mainly cloudy skies as we head into the weekend. For Eugene and Corvallis, it has been a foggy day. Some people was able to see that sunshine as we saw Ariel on the mm -hmm. uh, sky cam up towards Corvallis. Yeah. But over the next few days, we get a little bit of rain and hopefully a few sun breaks for Friday. We'll have to wait and see. You know, that would be a perfect Friday then. For sure. Get a little bit of sun toward the afternoon and then we have those Friday night games. All right. Golden, thank you. A potentially life-threatening disease has been on the rise across the country.